don't have pressure at all because I know myself as a person. I know how to win. I'm training so hard and so intense to get better all the time. I am prepared to end this fight in the first round. Becoming the champion is unlike anything I had experienced in my life. I still believe that I have what it takes. I truly want to just be the best version of myself and get as much out of this journey that I'm on as I can. Anybody that has followed my career knows that I have quite a resume, being a two-time champion. I would say that everything that happened in the past is probably very important for molding me the way that I am right now. That's great position. Two more. Leading up to the last strawweight title fight that I had uh, when I lost the belt to Carla, my life and my career was like a whirlwind. Hey, one big breath. I would describe that whole chapter of my life as like just trying to figure things out. <laughs> I put a little bit too much faith in my finances and, and achieving these accomplishments. You know, must do this or else I'm nothing. Bang, 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 bang. Now it's like I put so much more faith into, into God and, and to take care of me. I'm very happy with the growth that I've made as a fighter and as a person. I just know so much more now. I'm so much more mature. I'm so much stronger. Obviously, it feels very good to, to just look back at, you know, some of the things that I've, you know, gone through and done and good or bad, whatever, you know, and, and to just see where I'm at right now and be like, I could give myself a little pat on the back. <laughs> Rose Namajunas is really someone to keep an eye on. This is there it is. is. She's gonna keep getting better. This girl isn't even close to her prime. Monumental victory as she becomes an immediate title contender. Oh, another knockdown! Rose Namajunas trying to close the show. That is it. Dog Rose Namajunas. There is a new strawweight queen. She relishes challenges. That's what she's in this sport for. To find out what is her spirit? Who is she when she's pushed? Oh! 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 The Rose! we gain the strawweight throne! I am the best. <laughs> she has stayed true to herself and produced some of the most memorable moments we've ever seen. The absolute highs of the highs and the absolute lows of the lows is something that not even most fighters in the actual sport get to experience. I'm truly grateful for that. And so here I am, two times strawweight champion uh, on a mission to become two division champion. Hey, you get a good position. Pat's been part of my life for a long time. He's been in my corner my whole career. Right there. He's a great asset to this journey and this life that I'm on. Bang. You want to share it with somebody, you know, and what better person to share it with than your, your best friend and your, you know, your significant other. There. I'm Mr. Whatever Needs to Be Done, whatever it takes in order for Rose to be happy. Rose has never been one for titles, this and that. She wants the challenge. Continuing fighting at strawweight, she'd probably end up fighting the same two people again, two, three people again. 
but now she wanted a different challenge. Rose decided, let's go up. Let's go see what 25 feels like. This is why I say Rose is a gangster. That's why she's Thug Rose. This will be Rose's second fight at Flyweight. She knows what it feels like. She knows what to expect now. Amanda Heap is a very tough opponent, very game opponent. She's got a lot of experience. This is a big fight that's going to determine uh, where she goes from here. It's worth it. It's worth it. I tried not to put No, bang it. Bang it. Bang it. Fucking finish me so we can end practice. I'm very excited about this fight. Amanda is a great opponent to have on my resume. I think I'm going to dominate and uh, put a very spectacular performance on. E agora aqui é a academia que a gente começou alugando, agora é nossa. E o arco eles em cima da nossa academia lá, onde está o ouro lá, ó. É o ouro tá lá, ó. Deus usou a ferramenta do UFC para mudar nossas vidas. My family is proud of me because I represent them. I represent the heart of my dad, I represent the brain of my mom, and I represent how strong they are. Vai ficar a estátua da Amanda quando ela ganhar o cinturão. Estátua de bronze que eles irão colocar. <risos> Share the success of my career with my family is most important for me. Because we came from nothing. Aqui, essa aqui, nós, eu e a mãe dela morava no, no colchão. Aqui foi a época de sucesso mesmo. My childhood was inside the gym. Because my dad and my mom works all the time inside the gym that my dad had. The gloves was my pillow, my blanket was the gi of my dad. So for me, my gym is always my house. Eu trouxe o seu irmão para vocês aprender a lutar com o pessoal favelado mesmo, pessoal bom de briga. Vocês perdeu o medo de de lutar, de brigar com a boa. My dad is a little crazy. I get my intensity from him. My dad's fight career was crazy because he fought vale tudo. Vale tudo means street fight. No rules. People fight without gloves, with a lot of blood. And I love it so much because I know where I'm from. The fight changed my life, changed my family's lives. My whole family work at the gym. My dad is my coach. This is a really advantage for me because I know I can trust 100% on them. Then. Go to the other side. Go to the other side. Go Câmera lenta, tá horrível. Eu sou o head coach dela desde que ela nasceu, porque quatro, cinco meses já estavam tratando comigo. Não vou falar que é perfeito, mas a gente tenta separar o pai e o treinador. Então. Porque aqui eu tenho que ser muito duro com ela, porque o diamante bom é aquele que é forjado no fogo, né? na pressão. Joelho com força, tá? Mete o joelho, tá de protetor. Isso! Vai, vai, agarra, agarra. My journey to get where I am now is with a lot of ups and downs. I came from Jiu-Jitsu and Judo, and I started to train in MMA. The UFC sent to me the contract. I was really happy. It was a feeling so good inside my heart. We made it. Some time later, I was training really good and I was to do my debut in the UFC. UFC sent me an email. They said I was using some substance that they don't approve. And it was, how? 
how these substances get in my body. The UFC gave to me two years of suspension. I cry two days, I cry a lot. But Monday, I was at the gym training really hard. I was trying to take advantage with what I can learn about the UFC, how I can get better. And almost two years, when we were at the end of suspension, UFC called me and said I was innocent. When you do the right thing, the right thing come back to you in the right time, and this happened to me. One year and eight months later, I was innocent and with a fight in the UFC. At long last, the UFC debut has arrived for Amanda Hebas. Oh, wow! Amanda Hebas submits Emily Whitmire in her UFC debut. And if you know this woman, you know how much this means to her. This woman is absolutely ferocious, has all the makings of a future star. Watch out for the arm bar. Oh, she tapped a quick night at the office. She's an animal. And her star just continues to shine. Isso aí, não tá nem te achando, isso aí. Que bom. I am excited to fight against Rose because for me she is a legend. And one time my dad said to me, if you want to be a legend, you need to win of one. No. I know it is dangerous to fight against Rose. I need to be careful of her experience and of her striking. I know she's really fast, so I'm trying to get faster. A Rose tem que preocupar muito com o coração da Amanda. É muito forte. Então a Amanda tá pronta para fazer uma guerra. Vamos ver se a Rose vai estar pronta. This matchup will be on fire. I'm training to do five rounds, but I hope we can finish in the first round. Rose's skills is really good, but I'm training a lot to fight against her, so my skills will be better. I want to finish her with my best job ever. Last year we had potatoes in here, and then we had peppers, tomatoes all in the front. Then we had squash in the back, like pumpkins, and um, we had like our row vegetables, our like root vegetables over here. We had like beets, onions, carrots, radishes. Growing up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, it wasn't always the best of neighborhoods. I witnessed lots of violence and things like that the little apple trees that I planted. My mentality was, how can I make something positive of whatever it is that I'm given? The little seeds. We had a little area for like a couple tomato plants growing up. I just was fascinated with nature. The only other outlet that was the closest thing that I could get to nature, I felt like was martial arts. You know, doing something physical, getting in touch with your kind of more instinctual side. Got our basil. That became the escape for me when I was a young kid. I'm gonna be a farmer one day, and that's and since I was a little girl, that's all I've wanted to be. But for now, it's fighting, and I think those two really go hand in hand. There's very few things that can compare to the feeling of getting your hand raised, getting that championship belt, or getting dropped on your head. But then here comes gardening. You're experiencing maybe not quite the adrenaline rush, but the feeling of accomplishment and the feeling of like doing something that is super satisfying. You're creating something rather than trying to be destructive. All right. I really enjoy watching the little progress. There you go. It always worked to just 
bring me back into a, I guess, a, a calmer state. There's a never ending rabbit hole of things that you can learn. I've been uh, playing piano since I was five years old. I come from a family of musicians, so I love playing piano. It's just a really good way to stimulate the brain. Good music definitely is very healing for the soul. Over time, there was just moments throughout my fight career when things were maybe stressful. It helped me kind of step back and really reinvent certain aspects of myself. Mentally, I was not in a good place in my last straw weight title defense. That was hard to overcome. I don't regret any of the decisions that I made. That one was rough because it was like, dang, I really let people down. After that fight, I got offered men on Furo at flyweight. She was the number one contender. That was my hope to win that fight and then fight for the belt after that, but we kind of had to take a step backwards. It ended up being a blessing in disguise. I had a lot of questions going into that fight and I had a lot of them answered. No question, flyweight is definitely somewhere where I can be and where I can succeed and where I can become the champion. It just only motivated me more, and it made me really want to just get right back in there. Now I'm facing Amanda, so that's pretty awesome. Geared up today, huh? Huh? You're geared up today, huh? Yup. Losing two fights in a row, which never has happened before in my career, it's definitely a blow to my ego. It definitely adds a little bit more pressure. In order to not let that build to an unhealthy amount of pressure, I just focus on, okay, what am I controlling today? What can I do to make sure that I win this fight? Right hand, right kick. Pressure, no pressure, I just have to show up and do my job. Quick one, two. Once you get to where she's at, 31 years old now, you never know when it's gonna come to an end. So every fight is the most precious fight. Right now, this fight versus Amanda Hebus is the biggest fight of Rose's career. Amanda's fighting style consists of, you can call it like balls to the wall, man. She just goes for it. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Start moving up. Rose, being the methodical uh, technical fighter that she is, her job is to get in there and to punch the fight out of Amanda. She has to make Amanda start questioning whether or not she wants to continue. I just know that a lot of good things are in store. I do got some stuff to prove. I'm definitely using that as fuel for myself. So I make sure that I continue to climb up that ladder and make sure that I'm still adding to my resume of being a legend, that I can win this fight and become champion again. Jab your left, so jab your left, so jab your left, jab your left side, so jab. This mini event's a huge opportunity for me because I can show to the world that dreams come true. 
I try to take the best part in all that things that I pass through. The bad things and the good things. I think in all parts we can learn something. Direto, direto, direto. So, direto, jab. So, direto, jab. The people here in Virginia, they treat me really good. Whenever I need something, they are with me and they give me all the support. But for my family, suspension was really hard. Because here in Virginia, a lot of people were saying to them that hmm, if they put some drugs in his child, what they will do with our? We lose a lot of athletes in our gym. Aí foi o pior momento das nossas vidas. Tinha quase 300 crianças treinando comigo, ficou 20. Não tem ninguém, só todo mundo, todo mundo falando que eu dava droga para meus filhos. I think for my dad it was more tough than for me. But now I know, and he knows too, was the best thing that can happen to me. Because I know in that time I was not prepared. It was positive for me to take this time to learn more about the UFC. Isso, muito bom, muito bom. Mais velocidade isso aí, vamos lá. Com certeza esse espírito de luta dela, ela pegou de mim. Sempre fui guerreiro, nunca desisti, sempre. Ela pegou de mim e aperfeiçoou. O que mais motiva a Amanda, dá exemplo. Ela não liga para dinheiro, mas ela não liga para fama, não liga para nada disso. Muito bom, filho. Nota mil, viu? Amanda, ela luta hoje para dar exemplo. Pra... Every minute you're in a fight with Hibas, she believes she can win it. So you never really get in her head. What helps her win is her intensity. Man, she's just intense the whole walk out through. In the first round, I was going to the fight just with my heart. Oh, Hibas' chin is wide open there. My dad said to me, Amanda, what are you doing? You forgot strategy? You forgot your proposed? In the second round, I started to do the strategy that we trained. Oh, biggest punch of the fight! And in the third round, I was feeling so good, and I get her with my kick. All the training, I put my clock for me wake up in the morning with the name Bonus with Spinny Kick. So all the days before the fight, when I wake up, I wake up with Bonus with the Spinny Kick. And I think that was in my brain. I have a purpose in my life because UFC changed my life and my family's life. And I said to God, after this fight, I will take the prize and do my institute to change the children in my neighborhood life too. Aqui tudo vai ser o instituto. Eu quero que forme pessoa do bem, porque aqui, infelizmente, vejo que essa fase de criança, adolescente, precisa de um exemplo por perto. E às vezes dentro de casa eu sei que essas crianças não têm. It's important for me to give back because I know it's not everybody that have the blessed that I have with my family. So I want to be an example for kids. I want them to see me conquering things and be a good person. And I put some proposals for my career. I said to myself that if I want more fights with a bonus, I will take that bonus and put it in my institute. And all the training, all the time after the fight against Luana, I was thinking on that. O orgulho maior dela, que eu tenho dela, eu tenho certeza que ela vai dar muito exemplo para o mundo inteiro. A cada luta, ela está evoluindo. Contra a Rosa, ela vai chegar voando. A evolução dela é constante. 
Eu acho que a Rose não tem mais muito o que evoluir. A Rose já está no, no patamar. Então nós vamos evoluir para chegar no patamar da Rose. Nós vamos ganhar essa luta e vamos dar um show, entendeu? É uma luta que vai mostrar para o mundo o que para que, que a Amanda veio, entendeu? It is huge for me. I'm going to this fight with fire in my eyes, in my heart and in my gloves. I want to do my job. I want to show to everybody, not just for her, why I am here and why I train so hard in the gym to be a champion. I visualize myself taking the center of the octagon, establishing my movement, my range, my distance, my game plan every time. Punch them in the face, take their back and choke them out. That's what I plan on doing. The light in my eyes is because I really believe that I'm blessed. I conquer the world and I will conquer Rosina Mayunas. I am excited to show to all the people I can be the champ.